last August while preaching in Chattanooga, Tennessee. This young pastor picked me up at the Atlanta airport. This is Jeremy and Charity Roberts. Jeremy and my son, Nick, graduated all three times in achieving their three degrees. Our church ordained Jeremy. Today, he is 31 years of age. He and his wife, Charity, the daughter of Tony Crisp, who is a member of the executive committee, moved to Chattanooga in 2012 to pastor the Highland Park Baptist Church. Now, this church used to be one of the largest independent Baptist churches in America, touching thousands of people a week. But they had been in major transition and was slowly moving into a partnership even with the Southern Baptist Convention. Jeremy's calling there was a move in this direction toward their cooperation with us. Now listen to this. When Jeremy went there in 2012, they had 186,000 square feet of buildings. In fact, they had eight different buildings located in downtown Chattanooga. The church had gone from thousands weekly to now having all these buildings, but listen, only having 120 people in worship. After Jeremy was there a while, I remember he called me one day, and I remember him saying to me, I don't know if we can do this. There just may not be a future here. I, I, I can tell you today where I was. My wife Gina was with me, and I remember pulling over and talking to Jeremy because I knew it was a challenging time for him. I told Jeremy, I said, Jeremy, there are times as a leader that you have to be willing to risk it all. And you have to resolve if God has you there to sell that location and to move the church. I challenged him to go and pray and fast and seek the Lord about the issue. Long story short, after a period of prayer and fasting, he went to their leadership. They embraced the vision God put in Jeremy's heart. What a story. Listen to this. They replanted the church. They sold all their buildings miraculously. They changed the name of the church to Church of the Highlands. And they've gone from averaging 120 people in 2012 to averaging 400 people today. All because they risk it all for the gospel. Is this not one great revitalization story? Listen, they went from having all those buildings plus being $3.1 million in debt with 120 people to having 400 people weekly now on 65 acres of land, totally debt-free and money in the bank for their future. One year prior to his arrival, they baptized one person. In the past three years, they baptized 76 people. My friend, this is who we are as Southern Baptists, and it's a great day to be a Southern Baptist.